Hi guys, it's Ben Heath from Lead Guru, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use Facebook's Audience Insights tool to find awesome Facebook targeting options for your business. So when do you want to use Facebook's Audience Insights tool? Because not enough Facebook advertisers use Audience Insights, and it is a fantastic resource. Well, if you've been watching my videos, you probably know that I'm a big fan of targeting lookalike audience that are based off of previous customers. Now that really needs to be people who have already bought the product or service that you're about to to advertise. If you have just launched a new product or service, if you've just started advertising on Facebook, if you don't have hundreds or thousands of people that have bought the thing that you want to advertise, then you're not going to be able to advertise to a lookalike audience based off previous customers. Instead, you're going to want to jump into Facebook's Audience Insights tool and do what I'm exa exactly what I'm about to show you to find awesome targeting options. Now, Facebook's Audience Insights tool is very extensive, has tons of awesome applications. I'm not going to go through absolutely everything that you could do on here, that would be a waste of time. Instead, I'm gonna show you exactly what we quickly do for our clients when we first start working with them. We come in here, find out some really awesome information, find some great potential targeting options, and it only takes 10 minutes or so, and that's exactly what I'm gonna show you how to do. Okay, so first thing you need to do is come into Audience Insights. You do that by clicking on these three little lines once you're in Ads Manager and selecting Audience Insights in the Plan section, and you're presented with something that looks like this. The default location, is the United States. The first thing you need to do is come in here and adjust the location to wherever you are going to advertise. So if you're in a different country or you wanna do it by region or by city, enter in that information because the data we find in here, if it's not, if it doesn't match um, where you're advertising, it's not very useful. Pretty straightforward. Okay, then moving on, age and gender. Unless your business and your industry is very, very weighted towards particular demographics, so 90 plus percent male, 90 plus percent female, all your customers are 30 below, all your customers are 50 plus, for example. I would leave that broad because we can find some interesting information by uh, not having it in there. Then the next thing you wanna do is in this interest section is add in something that's related to your industry, but that's very broad, that many people would have heard of. So this would be very popular publications, magazines, websites, blogs, uh, TV shows. It might be celebrities within your industry, these sorts of things to get started. I'm gonna show you exactly what to do with that. So let's assume that we're looking to advertise something in the digital marketing space, the online online marketing space. Could be a course, could be a service, could be something like that. Um, it's obviously one that I know very well, so I can sort of talk about it competently. So let's say I take someone like Gary Vaynerchuk, someone that's very well known in the industry. Many, many people know him. Um, he's very broad. He's related to digital marketing, but he spans a huge amount of areas within that. And, um, and yeah, and I'll go through the process now to, to sort of show you that's what you want to do. So you pop an interest in there and you've got all sorts of interesting information here. So he skews more male to female. That might be a digital marketing trend overall. Maybe not. Um, he skews more towards single people than married people. More likely to have a college education. More likely to work in sales and management than obviously military um, and things like that. So lots of interesting information here, sort of browse that at your leisure, but that's not really what we focus on. There's a few things we focus on. We come over to page likes, and then this is where the real fantastic information is. When we're doing this exercise, what we're looking to do is find targeting options that we can use in our Facebook ad campaigns when we first launch them. So we've got Gary Vaynerchuk, we know might be a potential option that we can advertise to, but who are the other uh, people or other targeting options that we might be able to use and that we might be able to advertise to. What we'll do is we'll go through these lists now and we'll make a note of anything that we think might be promising. So author, Tim Ferriss, that sounds like a good option to me. A lot of his audience are going to be interested in digital marketing related thing. Right, let's make a note of that. Website, Facebook business, I mean, it doesn't you couldn't get much better than that digital marketing related. Publisher, entrepreneur, that could be a great option. Let's make a note of that. But not all these things are going to work. The UFC, that's not really related. Dollar Shave Club. I know they've had fantastic viral videos and they are linked to digital marketing, but not really. They're a bit too broad. Weird history, not really. Um, I don't know a lot of these. I mean, news personality Ben Shapiro, no. He's not, he's not going to encompass the sort of audience we're after. You could say the same about Joe Rogan, but perhaps people like Eric Thomas, Tony Robbins, they might be a bit broad, but you might want to add them in. Success Magazine, that's definitely one you want to add in. Um, so you can see the sort of thing we're doing here. We've got Tim Ferriss, yes. Uh, Facebook Business, Entrepreneur, perhaps Tony Robbins, Success Magazine. We can add in these sorts of different things into our little notebook. Then we come down and we see Affinity Scores. Now Affinity, as you can see there, is how likely your audience is to like a given page compared to everyone else. 
So people that are interested in Gary Vaynerchuk are 237 times more likely to like the Gary Vaynerchuk page than people who aren't interested in Gary Vaynerchuk. They're also 97 times more likely to like Tim Ferriss and the list goes on and on. So we've got a lot of the same options here. You won't always see the same options down here as you will up here. So keep it, keep that in mind. But we might have some other options. So we might want to add in Eric Thomas as an option that we want to target. People that like Tony Robbins, those sorts of things. Um, so make a note of those. And then you want to come up and you want to grab one of these. So let's go with entrepreneur. I didn't mean to, um, to click on that. I wanted instead... I'm going to get rid of that. I wanted to add it in in here. So we've made our list and we're going to go with entrepreneur. I want the magazine. Yeah, there we go. So now we've got entrepreneur, the magazine, and we go through the same process. So we've got some other magazines at Harvard Business Review. That could be an interesting one to add in. It's popped up with Gary Vaynerchuk and Robert Kiyosaki. Robert Kiyosaki, again, might be an interesting one. Maybe not on the digital marketing side of things, probably more of a, a business, maybe a real estate guy, but add him in for the moment. Shopify, that could be a really good option. We're looking to advertise to people that are involved in digital marketing. People that like Shopify could be an absolutely fantastic option. That's definitely one that you want in there. Going down the list, you're not going to want things like National Geographic India, Verizon. Those aren't as related. Um, scrolling down, we've got the page likes again. I don't know what the points guy is. That might be very related. What you would want to do is click on it. If that's the case, if there's one options that you don't aren't familiar with, click on it, go through to their page at the points guy UK, this says, and then let's have a look at what he's got on his page. It's just taking a second to load because I'm recording this at the same time. Best economy class in the sky. Oh, so it's the points guy is in flights by the looks of things. Okay, so that's probably not the sort of thing that we're looking for. So I'm going to close that down, go back into audience insights. But look, you've got lots of other options. Young entrepreneur, that might be a good one. Shark Tank, maybe, maybe not. Tony Robbins has come up again. Facebook Business is there again. Um, Inc. Magazine, I'm not too familiar with that, but that might be a good option. Again, check it out. But what you want to do is you want to go through each one of the options that you find and enter them in here. So, you know, we use Gary Vaynerchuk to find Entrepreneur Magazine. We could now take Shopify, because that's one of the options we found just now, and enter that in there. And what you'll find quite quickly by doing this is that you will very, very quickly uh, end up with the same options coming up again and again and again. And those options that come up again and again and again are likely to be very much targeted, absolutely what you want to start with. So people who are interested in Shopify, um, I don't know a lot of these, just trying to think of something that, again, Facebook business has come up again. Websites, Inbox Dollars, Shop Day Club, Shoe Dazzle, maybe not Shoe Dazzle, but Inbox Dollars, that could be great. I don't know. You probably want to have a little click and let's see what we find coming through here. And this is the exact process that we go through, guys. Honestly, it just takes 10 minutes, 5, 10 minutes, but it is well, well worth doing. Um, what do we got? Cooking on a budget, mm, related to digital marketing, selfie contest, probably not, probably not linked to that. But that's fine. That's what you do. You go through and, and find these. You've got some other options here. I don't recognize a lot of these. I'm not going to go through every single one, but you may want to go through and click Gary Vaynerchuk's popped up again and find out these options. Now, what you want to do once you've got a bunch of options just like that is you want to create a Facebook ad campaign. You want to create an individual ad set for each one of the options you come up with. You might have, let's say, 10, 12 options, something like that. It's going to vary on different industries. If you only end up with three or four, absolutely fine. If you end up with 20, fine. I'd probably recommend reducing that down to around about 10 of the ones that you think are going to be most related and produce the best results. But you want to create a separate ad set for each one and assign a very small budget to each targeting option. Then you want to run your Facebook ad campaign with all those targeting options running simultaneously. Now, there's going to be a lot of overlap between all those different audiences. That's fine. Don't worry about that. And what you're looking for is the audiences that perform the best. And what you might find is that your Shopify targeting for, your, let's say, your digital marketing course um, performs very, very well. And you want to keep advertising to that. But perhaps Gary Vaynerchuk doesn't perform very well at all. Or perhaps you're also advertising to Tony Robbins and that's sort of middle of the road. 
You could be advertising to Tim Ferriss, and that's the best performing one by far. And you can make adjustments. So the ones that aren't performing very well, you go ahead and pause those. The ones that are performing very well, you put more budget into those. And those are the adjustments that you make. And that's how we get started when we first start creating a Facebook ad campaign. This is what we do for our Facebook targeting options. As I said before, once you've got 100, 200 people who have converted on your campaign, they bought, they've become a lead, you want to then go ahead and create a lookalike based off of those people and target the lookalike because that's probably going to be better than any targeting option you find in here. If you're interested in finding out more about how to create Facebook lookalikes, I've created a video that shows you exactly how to do it. I'll include that in the description of this video. Um, but this is something that we do. And every now and then one of these targeting options will outperform a lookalike and we will keep running it. But this is exactly how we start. And that's all we do. What I've just described is all we do. We're going through, we're assessing options that we're trying to find that sound like they might be good options that might work. Um, you have to run this through a common sense filter. There's no absolute science to it, but this is the process. One thing I did want to say is let's say you put in um, an option like Facebook business. Now I know that's not going Facebook for business. Okay, so that's got 400 to 450,000 people in it. That's large enough to run by itself. If you come up with some options in here that only have, let's say, less than 100,000 people, roughly that sort of size, then that audience is too small to run by itself on a consistent basis over a long time period. You can still do it for testing. So as I said, one targeting option per ad set and test it small. Don't spend a lot on each one. But once you then want to run that campaign on a consistent basis and scale up, combine that with another one of your smaller targeting options that is also performing well. You'd ideally be over 200, 250,000, something like that. Obviously, these this size audience, 400 to 450K, is absolutely big enough. If we pop you know, some of these ones like Gary Vaynerchuk back in, I'm sure his audience is gonna be big enough. Yeah, look, 3.5 to 4 million people, absolutely more than big enough um, to use. And this is the exact process we use. It doesn't take very long, very, very powerful. This is how you use Facebook's Audience Insights tool. I'd absolutely recommend you go ahead and do it. It's well worth going through this exercise and it should improve the performance of your Facebook ad campaigns. Now, something I want to quickly mention before you go is that recently I've started offering Facebook advertising consulting sessions. Now, these consulting sessions are done via Skype. Um, they last an hour. I can We can use Skype's screen share function so I can take a look at your Facebook ad campaign. I can make adjustments, make recommendations in real time, show you how to get better results from Facebook. Just last an hour long and the feedback so far has been phenomenal. People have been finding it really, really useful often a good option for businesses that can't afford our full done for you Facebook advertising services. If you are interested in that, click the link below. That'll take you to my Facebook page. You can just send me a message and, uh, and we can go from there and get one of those booked in. So hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a like. That's much appreciated. Please leave a comment below to let me know. If you've got any questions, pop them in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more Facebook advertising related content and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye-bye.